Kevin Areva is the sales manager at this pharmacy along William Street, one of the busiest areas in downtown Kampala. The pharmacy sells condoms, and we ask Kevin about attitudes towards buying it from across the counter. They will first stir my bit. They say, I'm looking for this and this and this. But on closer interaction with the customer, mm. they will say, okay, jagala kali akakuma, akakuma obulamu. It is normally the males, uh, the men, who are more free uh, about uh, speaking out what they want. They will walk in and say, ah, jagala kakondo. No. And uh, in, uh, as for the females, those ones are a bit reserved. Reactions on the street too, on condom use, remain mixed. Last year alone, the National Drug Authority says it released over 222 million condoms into the market, almost double the figures in 2015. The National Drug Authority started mandatory testing of condoms in 2004 and says reported failure rates have since gone down to 3%. We test first and foremost for the rubber. They should be also free from holes. We test also for their length width and also thickness. A 2014 Uganda HIV and AIDS country progress report indicates 42% sex workers say they used a condom during their last encounter against 66% in 2011. The same report says 63% of men and 45% of women between the ages of 15 and 49 who had multiple partners in the past 12 months said they used a condom during their last intercourse. Although the 2011 Demographic and Health Survey puts condom use among women at only 2.7%, the current increase in its use is partly being fueled by its low cost. Each of these goes for 1,000 shillings on, on average. And I think uh, that, that is something that is affordable to the, to the low-class person. Condom use is one of the methods widely promoted by the Ministry of Health as a preventive measure against spread of HIV and AIDS. The country's prevalence rate stands at 7% and as many as 500 girls get infected with HIV every week. There's a lot of myths that have been attached to the use of both female and male condoms. Some people say it reduces one's libido. But manufacturers have also come up with new ways of making them look attractive. They have added color, scent, and flavor. Despite all these myths around it, the government of Uganda says the increase for condoms in the country is still rising. The challenge, however, is how to make these false perceptions on the use of condoms into a likable truth that a population can endow themselves in freely asking for condoms. Remember, if it's not on, it's not safe. Walter Moesje, NTV.